ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट नींद आने लगती सो जाओ हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आराधना एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर सम ऑफ यू क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग पेपर वन सो फ्यू डेज अगो ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम पेज आई आज ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग पेपर वन एंड यू पीपल रेसिप्रोकेटेड विद अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर ऑल ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन इन दिस सिंगल वीडियो सो बट बिफोर वी गेट इन टू टूडेज वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट फॉलोड मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम दैन प्लीज डू लिंक्स विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू बाई फर्केट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन ईच चैप्टर सो द थिंग इज दैट पेपर वन इज divided into 10 units and all these 10 units have a lot of important topics so to bifurcate uh, all these topics you need to analyze the pyqs of previous year maybe two or three years okay and then you will get to know that you know regarding a single unit there are a few topics that has been asked again and again so focus on those topics no i am not going to say only to focus on those topics but give more emphasis to those topics because they ask questions regarding those topics uh you know most of the times okay for example if you take the first unit which is teaching aptitude they mostly ask questions from factors affecting learning or characteristics of a teacher or teaching aids and bloom's taxonomy these are the kinds of topic that they ask again and again and once you realize uh, realize ne analyze once you analyze pyqs you will get to know that these are some of the topics that are asked again and again for analyzing pyqs you can use any book or uh, you know pyqs from internet but one book that i can suggest you is physics wala's 52 unit wise and topic wise nta ugc net paper 1 which has previous year solved question papers of the last 15 years that is from 2009 to 2023 with december 2023 exam covered okay and this book is useful for net jrf and set exams with this book you can practice the latest exam pattern by studying 38 papers from past 8 sessions in 2019 and it has access verified solutions for each question to understand concepts better and learn from mistakes effectively you can stay up to date with your recent developments in ict environmental studies and relevant policy changes for exam and you can practice 2700 multiple choice questions from 52 exams spanning 15 years you can also understand the topic weightage in each unit for effective study planning it has It has access to two papers from December 2023 UGC NET JRF exam from Realistic Exam Experience and detailed solutions are also provided for each question to enhance comprehension and problem solving skills. So this book acts as an extensive question bank which has 27 MCQs with 52 exam sets spanning 15 years and it has topic weightage inside which means it has detailed insights into topic weightage within each unit for effective study planning, okay? The book also covers in-depth theory explanation which is clear, concise and theoretical explanations of each unit. And since this book covers two papers from december 2023 exam it offers you a glimpse into the actual examination environment okay and yes all these questions are accompanied by a comprehensive solution meticulously crafted to provide you with a clear understanding of the underlying concepts and problem solving techniques so yeah if you want to buy this book then link will be in the description now let's get back to our video okay so the next question that we have dii and mathematical reasoning topics are very hard to learn so one thing you can do if you find any particular unit or any two particular or three particular units very very difficult is you can leave them but i think don't leave them like fully leave them you can just prepare some of the things which are kind of easy because no unit is like hard that means it is so hard that you don't get anything from that unit you can get a few bits of those units and but if you are leaving three units like fully leaving three units then i think that is kind of a very big risk so what you have to do is that in di i think i prepared only how to calculate average and percentage all these kinds of thing these things are very simple but beyond that i was not able to understand the things so i left all these things and in this i got two three answers right okay so the thing is that don't leave every, everything in di and mathematical reasoning you will get a, th a few things that you will uh, you know understand very easily in these units as well so just understand as much as you can you know just don't go with the uh, motto that you have to leave two units it's not compulsory that you have to leave two units if you can prepare just prepare 10 units if you find it very 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 difficult that you don't even know anything about mathematical reasoning and di then leave those units and then prepare the other 7 or 8 units very thoroughly okay okay so the next question is that tell us about research methodology and how to prepare that okay so reach research methodology and teaching aptitude and environment and uh, ict these are some of the units which are very theoretical in nature they don't have a lot of concepts or anything regarding that you just have to read these okay analyze pyqs and see what topics are being asked again and again okay these have repetitive topics that is very good thing because once you analyze i'm sorry 
once you analyze pyqs you will get to know that only a few topics are asked again and again from these units from theoretical units okay so just analyze pyqs that is the first thing i think you should do in a uh, uh, paper one so yeah start there also one thing i would recommend is watch videos of arpita karva on research methodology don't just rely on uh, me that i would make videos on uh, you know this channel about everything she has covered all these things very nicely i think and i prepared from her channel as well she has told talked about the most important thing that are being asked and she told the same thing that you have to prepare some of the i know most important thing that are asked again and again it is not a kind of thing which you'll have to teach again and you want like a really deep knowledge about something like this okay you just have to prepare the most important units you have to qualify the exam that is the most important thing about paper one okay and a few of you also asked that please make a video on paper 1 i have already made a few videos on paper 1 i think i have made uh, two videos on paper 1 so i link those uh, you know videos in the description uh, of that playlist so kindly check that out and i think you will uh, get all your questions answered in those videos and uh, yeah let's take the last answer and wrap up this video okay another question is that uh questions come from various areas and can't understand exactly which books to follow okay you don't have to you know get books for paper 1 you just have to have pyqs for paper 1 okay you don't have to learn a lot i think if you only prepare from youtube videos and pyqs that will be just enough if you want you can take kvs madan and if you don't want you can uh, leave that as well you just have to have pyqs either get them printed or get a question bank or anything okay and questions come from various areas yes there are a lot of books which kind of uh, you know uh, divide the questions from previous year papers in uh, you know in sections that this question has come from this section and this question is from that section so you can get these kinds of book okay there are a lot of books that i have recommended on this channel as well which are kind of very good so you can take those books as well and uh, i think most of the question banks do that so you can just do that whatever you prefer the last question is that neend aane lagti hai to so jao okay and i'm damn serious during my preparation i used to do two things i used to study and i used to sleep okay if i was not in college i was sleeping or studying this is two three things because when you are mentally exhausting yourself for like 6 7 hours then you really do need to you know take a lot of rest okay and i love sleeping everybody loves sleeping right so just sleep 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 so there are a lot of concepts that you are not going to get when you are exhausted and once you are you know uh, you know again you if you try with a fresh mind you will get those concepts i don't know how that works but it does so those were some of the most commonly asked questions by all of you and if you have not followed me on step please do what are you waiting for and uh, yeah subscribe my channel and like this video and if you have any uh, query you know further query then you can comment that down in the comment section and let me know how is your preparation going and what are you reading and anything you want to talk about okay so yeah i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye